Stars of stage and screen have paid tribute to Albert Finney, one of Britain's most celebrated post-war actors, who's died aged 82. His big break came as the angry young man in the 1960 film Saturday Night and Sunday Morning. He went on to receive five Oscar nominations. He was also an acclaimed theatre star in the UK and on Broadway. His final screen appearance was in the James Bond film Skyfall. Richard Pallo on tributes to one of the greats. Now, remember what I taught you, don't let it pull to the left. I'll do my best. The world has lost a giant. Daniel Craig's tribute to the man whose performance as gamekeeper Kincaid in Skyfall would be his last. Welcome to Scotland. But Albert Finney leaves a breadth of work that over six decades is hard to beat. Uh, do they teach beauty queens how to apologise? Because you suck at it. But Hollywood was a long way from growing up in Salford, his working class roots helping him become cinema's original angry young man. I'm me and nobody else. Whatever people say I am, that's what I'm not. A great actor can take the kind of peaks and the valleys of a performance, the ups and downs that are, uh, of a character as written, and push them even farther apart. He'd originally trained as a Shakespearean actor and would gravitate back to the stage at regular intervals. But from the screen came the acclaim. Tom Jones, one of five films he was Oscar nominated for. Another his turn as Hercule Poirot in Murder on the Orient Express. Colonel Armstrong, once a brave officer in the Scots Guard, shot himself. But Finney never won for any and famously never attended the ceremony, saying it was a long way to go for a non-drinking event. I think he's a gigantic cultural British figure and he's proof, more proof if proof were needed, that Britain can travel everywhere with its incredible cultural voice and extraordinary acting tradition. There is no doubt that the Germans are superior to us in the air. Despite playing Winston Churchill, Finney was no fan of the establishment turning down a knighthood. You lock the orphans in the closet. He died peacefully with his family beside him. A bookie's son, never comfortable with the limelight, but who's shone in it? Albert Finney, whose death was announced today. Now, the Oscar-nominated actor Albert Finney has died at the age of 82. A spokesperson for his family said that he passed away peacefully after a brief illness. He began his career at the Royal Shakespeare Company before forging a reputation as one of Britain's leading screen actors, appearing in films such as Saturday, and Saturday Night and Sunday Morning, Erin Brockovich and Bond Skyfall. Will Gompertz looks back at his life. <laughs> Albert Finney was one of the original angry young men, a Salford-born bookmaker's son who helped redefine British film and theatre in the early 1960s. I take a tip from the fishes. Never bite unless the bait's good. I won't get married till I'm good and ready. He appeared in a raft of so-called kitchen sink dramas, depicting the everyday realities and frustrations of working-class life in post-war Britain. I could get through in half the time if I went like a bull, but they'd only slash me wages so they can get stuffed. He won a BAFTA for this performance, leading some to speculate that he could be the next Laurence Olivier. When those fellows get... ..to whom he would allude when playing the role of the fading actor-manager in The Dresser and, when among friends, parody. We were all walking around as... Sir Lawrence uh, walked around in the film with a limp and a hump and a kind of default, very strange left hand. And we used to be pressing the elevator button to go to a class saying, I must take the lift to fencing. I feel awake for the first time, man. He turned down the opportunity to play the lead in the film Lawrence of Arabia, choosing instead the title role in Tom Jones, an 18th century romantic adventure. Albert Finney had arrived, an international star of stage and screen with an eye for the ladies and the talent to take on a wide range of roles. From directing and starring in Charlie Bubbles to playing Agatha Christie's Hercule Poirot. We now come to my own reconstruction of the night of the murder. When people look back at the gallery of his roles in the movies, I don't forget he was a great stage actor too in the early days, uh, I think they will all, people will always celebrate the versatility, the power, the humour, the, the humanity. Aaron High. 
40 years after his film career began, a new generation of film directors discovered his remarkable screen charisma. Casting him as a gruff lawyer in Erin Brockovich. And you and me, we're going to make him pay for it. And an even gruffer Churchill in The Gathering Storm. 35, I was Home Secretary. 37, First Lord of the Admiralty at 50, Chancellor of the Exchequer. Doing pretty well. Not bad. Now look at me. Albert Finney never forgot his roots. He refused a knighthood because he considered it snobby. Above all, though, he was a serious actor, a rare performer such that if he was in something, you paid attention.